All right, today I want to show you a little trick that I like to do with bands that I normally run sound for. That if I do consistent shows, then uh, I try to streamline their setup and teardown. So today what we did <clears throat> is modified these three fan snakes. And these are the Elite Core PX830, so 8 channel 30 foot fan snake. And then over here we have a 10 foot one. And uh, I just gambled on it and bought the Elite Core, but it's a pretty good gamble. Um, <clears throat> you'll see in the uh, repair video whenever I change these ends that these ends are almost identical to Nutric. They have the same little strain relief compression sleeve inside. The nut looks a little different, but... For the most part, they're identical to the Nutric, which are my favorite connectors. They got the little seal on it here. So, before I get into the snake modification, let me tell you why I did that. <clears throat> so, this is the basic layout for the band. So, we have our uh, front of house mixer, our snake, your drum kit, your bass line with an acoustic, and um, your electric guitar with acoustic. Three vocals. The center vocal is wireless. The two outers are wired. So what happens is a lot of times, you know, you got to string a line for every channel. And also over here to the sides, we have a, a main and a sub, main and a sub. And each one of those are active. They have amplifiers built in, so you have to run signal lines from the snakehead to everywhere. So even though you don't might not have a 30-foot run from here to where you're going... <clears throat> I got the two 30 foot snakes and modified the ends. If you look, you have one, two, three, four female ends, well, five female ends and three male ends. Okay? This will be the stage end of, that says left. So this will be stage left snake. So you drop this out. This will be kind of dropped out right in here somewhere, run from the snake out to here. And so, like there's uh, the main vocals, Tom. Then you'll have, this is vocals, which will be here. Acoustic, which is the DI here. Bass, which is the bass rig, obviously. And a spare input. Now, on the return sides here, on these... There's your monitor, which will go to the wedge monitor, which is not printed here, but there's your wedge monitor. This is your sub CN. This goes to the subwoofer cabinet over here. And then the main, which goes to your main cabinet. Now, let me show you how we do this. Because coming off of the snake, you have one aux for the sub, but you need to split it both ways. So typically, you come off of the snake and you go into one sub cabinet then you come to the output of that cabinet and go over to the input of the next cabinet so i've got that worked out here um before i go to the other snake i want to show you here that on the actual snake head part of it i've got listed the actual channels that these plug into so there's no thinking when that says 16 you just plug that straight into 16 there's channel 8 that's aux 2, sub return, main, which is the uh, return number 8. There's 13, 13 is the spare channel that was over here, channel 11, and channel 15. So as long as you plug these in to the number that it says over here, and plug what you're wanting to mic into here, then there's no thinking about the setup. You just throw the snake out, plug it into the hole it plugs into, and you're not running all these cables and thinking, okay, what's number eight, what's number seven? It's all done right out here. All right, same way over here to the stage right <coughs> snake. Okay. <coughs> this will be your stage right here, and this will be your snake side. So on your snake side, you have... There's your different channel, channel 12, 
Now this is sub return. I'm gonna, that's an interesting point I'm going to make here in just a minute. So there's your aux one that goes to your number one mix right here. Aux five, that is your sub send. That's going to plug in here, and I'll show you that in just a second. And there's your channel 14, your main, number 7, which is number 7 return here on the snake. Channel 9, channel 10. So these just plug into here where they say. Now, we have this aux 5. This is actually your sub send. So this is going to be plugged into number 5 aux output here. It's actually going to go all the way through and come out here to the sub send. This will plug into the subwoofer cabinet. The sub return will plug into the other side of the cabinet. Go back out the snake and come back out here to sub return. On your other snake, this snake, you'll have... Where is it here? Uh, there's your sub return. We'll plug into sub send. So these two will actually plug together back here and not be plugged into this box. So basically what you're doing is you're sending the subwoofer signal down the drop snake into the sub. And it comes back out of the subwoofer, comes back down the drop snake. You connect the two drop snakes together here and then this sub send on the other end of this snake plugs into your sub over here so you don't have that cable you're running across and there's our uh, guitar 2 vocals guitar acoustic monitor this will be this wedge monitor then your main so that hooks up everything on this side of the stage this snake hooks everything on that side of the stage and they're only connected together by the sub send and return right here so that's uh, another time saver so now we go to the drums can't forget the drummer it's a PEX 810 same elite core let's move this out of the way now on the drum snake what we have down here is listed now what I'll do is we only have one foot tails here we have eight ten foot XLR cables that are going to be dedicated for the drum kit and two spares to go in the road case so we'll have ten foot long cables connected to the end of this snake so when it's all said and done the ten foot extensions are wrapped up with this whole snake together so back on the snake head back here then there's your channel one, four, five, six, seven, two, three. Then there's your aux three. This is for your drum monitor. Now on this end of the snake, where the, where all your microphones plug into, they're not listed channel one, two, three, four. You got your tom one, snare, tom two, overhead one kick, overhead 2, monitor, and then there's your tom 3. Now this monitor, obviously you see the ends are different because we swapped the ends on certain cables. This monitor one will actually go to a small personal mixer at the back of the drums. And that allows him to use one of the channels on the mixer for the monitor send. He can also run on a second channel. He can run a, a click or a drum click or whatever he wants to run. If he wants to sit back there and listen to the iPod between the shows, he can use channel 3 for that or 4, whatever. We're only interested in channel 1. So that's how we do the drum monitor. Instead of running a wedge down here, which the wedge bleeds into the drum mics, and I don't like wedges or any kind of drum monitor that's cranked up real loud because then I have to gate the drums, and I don't like gating the drums. I like to try to leave them open if I can. So anyhow... So that's the drum snake. So in the soldering video part of this, you saw where I took these ends and swapped them from one side to another. So 
obviously this lifetime warranty is void now but at the expense of saving setup time on the stage this will probably shave a good 30 minutes off of the setup time on the stage simply because you're not having to crawl because what they do is they set the they have a stage they set up then they plant all of their instruments up so once you get everything in the way then you're climbing around pedal boards and guitar amp and drum kit and you got to sneak in behind the drum kit and plug in and sneak back out and you got to do that for every channel and they have a out of a 16 channel board they have um 15 channels used channel 13 on this snake is the only spare one available so then you got to imagine 15 connections there then the two wedge monitors at 17 then the drum monitor 18 then the sub and main 19 20 21 22 and then the the loop from one sub to another so you're running 23 xlr cables you're all over the stage so this is my solution that i have proven works uh, it's a little expensive you have to buy three snakes i'm not sure what these cost um, you'll probably be under two hundred dollars to buy the two 30 foot snakes and the 10 foot drop snake then you have to buy some uh eight or ten foot extensions to go onto the drum snake so you roughly figure two to two hundred and fifty dollars uh a little bit of labeling that's just a regular label maker and then once you put the label on there it's wrapped with masking tape or yeah masking tape packaging tape excuse me <laughs> i'm like i'm like masking tape is uh yeah, yeah, okay so wrap it with tape that keeps it from peeling off and uh that's how i do it so anyhow um thanks for watching i hope this is helpful i hope that uh you can apply some of this into your stage setup because time is money if you can get up there on the stage and get back off then the time you save not setting up you could be relaxing sit back talking to your friends and uh maybe uh promoting another gig so let me know if this helps you out please leave a comment below if you find any problems or have any questions about this setup thanks for watching <clears throat> and these are virtually identical to the Nutrix. Now I've been able to just swap these ends. I don't have to swap anything else. Well, these two ends. And there's my little wood holding block. I have a video on that uh, on my channel as well. Tin the lead on the soccer now. these little plastic pieces back. <clears throat> so I like take the iron and clean it. And then just tin it just a little bit. Shake the excess off. That's good heat transfer. Angle just right.
so while I got this in my hand, I'll just go ahead and take it over this side. Number two first. Very simple because you don't have to cut and strip. You just heat it up, heat the solder up, remove it, put it on the other connector. See if we can the little plastic pieces are back in place. This will be your one of your mains. This will be your sub. This will be your monitor. And that's going to be on like let's say stage right. Then this will be your different inputs for to plug into the snake head. So this will be I don't know let's say uh, your guitar, your acoustic, vocal, vocal. Okay. So now we have the male end. Plastic caps. Slide those. Oops. Slide those back on. And some don't have the plastic caps, but since it had it on there, I said, "Well, we'll just put them back." It's a pretty good idea, anyway. I'm sorry you can't see this real well, but I'm alone and I don't have any help for zooming the camera. So we're just going to do the best we can. A little sloppy right there. Okay. <clears throat> okay.
So, whoops. So on this end of the snake we have our ends the same way. There we go.